Hi guys, welcome back to Alamat Short Stories, where we narrate short stories submitted or researched by our team to share with you all. This week's story is about the chilling experience of the author's grandmother in the provinces of the Philippines. This tale is called People in White by Supreme B0101. I want to share a story about my grandmother who went missing in the northern part of the Philippines. The story is so eerie, it creeps me out to this day. My grandmother lived in a bamboo house in the countryside where she planted rice with my grandfather for a living. The area has flat farmland and mountainous regions covered in thick jungle. You can google Philippine jungles for imagery. Anyway, after my grandfather died, my grandmom sometimes stayed over with my aunt and cousins who lived close by. One particular night, she got up in the middle of the night. My cousin Belle, who was sleeping near her, heard grandmother get up to open the door. Belle just assumed that she was going to use the restroom. They didn't have indoor plumbing, but they did have an outhouse. When my cousin got up the next morning, my grandmother was gone. The whole town searched the surrounding area throughout the day and night, but she was nowhere to be found. The next morning, my cousin woke up to tapping noises on her bedroom window. She got up to open the window shutters, and it was my grandmother. Her hair and clothes were disheveled, tiny scratches on her face and body, and she was covered in dirt. Grandmother appeared dazed and confused as to how she got home. After getting cleaned up, my grandmother described the very last thing she remembered. She explained the night she disappeared, she heard a knock at the door. When she opened it, there was a man and two women standing there smiling at her. Behind them, there was a group of people who seemed like they were patiently watching. All of them were wearing white. The man told her, We came to pick you up. My grandmother asked, Why? It's in the middle of the night. She said there was no answer from the man. He just held out his hand to her and that she just had an overwhelming feeling that going with them was the right thing to do. She took his hand as everyone in the crowd looked at her. She remembers walking with the other people dressed in white further and further into the mountains. She questioned the man several times as to where they were taking her, and he assured her everything will be alright. The last thing she remembered was that when she wanted to turn back and go home, my cousin Belle said she remembered hearing her opening the door and pausing for a little bit, then heard my grandmother's footsteps, but did not hear a knock at the door or any voices that night to suggest anybody actually coming to pick her up. My family took her to the hospital and found out she was suffering from a massive stroke. I don't know if it was all hallucinations as a result of the stroke or if it was something paranormal. Maybe it was her time to go and the other spirits picked her up to guide her and maybe she decided she wanted to come back. I don't know. I have no idea. When I heard the story, I got chills. The story was so eerie. What do you guys think of this week's story? It's a little bit short, but I got chills when I read this first. I can't imagine people watching and waiting outside my door and my windows dead at night. If you have similar experiences, share them down in the comment section below. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe and share this channel to your friends and family. If you have stories you would want me to narrate, send them over at mrelamatph at gmail.com. Salamat guys and see you in the next one.